Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Bastion server. This is a managed server, so that means that you only have to deploy the service, not the server. You don't have any servers to manage, and it's a Azure managed service. So we'll start off by creating a virtual uh, server inside of a private subnet with no public IP address. And then we'll move on to creating the Bastion managed service. And then we'll finally connect via this Bastion managed service. So why would you want to do this? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, a, you don't have to deploy a jump box. If you deploy a jump box like we did in the last video, first of all, the setup process is a bit cumbersome. And then second of all, you have to manage that jump box server. Also, another good reason that you would want to do this is because you don't have to deploy it via RDP. So you could do it literally through a Chromebook or any laptop without having to have RDP. So let's get started. All right, we'll start off by going and creating a VM. So I'll go to VM, select create virtual machine. We'll use that subscription, call it demo VM. I currently have one called demo VM one. Demo VM is fine. I like deploying stuff in East US. And then I will select my saved passwords. We can leave everything else pretty much the same. This will automatically create a uh, demo group or a resource group, which is fine. Uh, that way we're not putting in the other resource groups that I currently have. Everything else looks fine. Uh, we'll go to networking. The default uh, configuration is to create a uh, public IP. So we're gonna actually select none. We don't want a public IP. We want this to be in a private subnet. So that should look good. Everything else looks good. Um, and then we should just be able to go to review and create. Wait for that to load. Wait for the validation to pass. All right, it's passed. Go ahead and select create. So this right now is going to go ahead and create a, um, it's going to create a resource group. It's going to create the VNet NIC card on that VM. It's going to create the VM itself. Um, we'll wait for that deploy. We'll come back right after. All right, the uh, deployment is finished. So we'll go to our resource. Um, we'll go to overview. Under overview, we can select a uh, virtual sub, uh, network subnet. Click on that. We'll go down to subnets under settings. So click on subnets. We're gonna go ahead and add a subnet and we're gonna call this Azure uh, Bastion, uh, Bastion subnet. So uh, we're creating an Azure Bastion subnet for the Bastion managed service. This is gonna be one of the prereqs that you're gonna uh, need to have in place before you want to deploy the Bastion uh, managed service. So um, as long as it's in a different subnet other than your default, so that checks. Everything else looks fine. We can just leave it the same. We'll go ahead and click save. Now this is gonna take a second to be added. Um, or actually just went ahead and added. Uh, that was quicker than last time. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Go go back to the virtual machine. That's uh, demo VM. Now we're gonna go down to, uh, you can either go select connect um, or you can just do it in the overview and select uh, connect. We're gonna select Bastion. So for this first time, we're just it's gonna ask you if you wanna use Bastion, you just select okay, use Bastion. Um, all right, see right here it's saying uh, step one of three, there's three steps total. Expand your virtual network's address space. The address space for virtual is composed of one or more overlapping siders, basically more than one subnet. And then creating the Bastion subnet, which we did in that uh, step right now, where we created the Azure Bastion subnet. And here uh, we select the NIC, it's already pre-selected. We'll leave it at basic tier, so it's only one instance. Uh, it's going to go ahead and create a public IP for us um, unless we define that we want to use another one, but I'll leave it the same. So basically everything is default. We'll go ahead and select create Azure Bastion using defaults. 
Now this should take a second because it's going to deploy a public IP, a uh, separate resource group for the Bastion service, and the Ben the Bastion service itself. So this is actually going to take a second. Once this is done, we'll come back. All right, the Bastion service finally finished creating, as you can see. Um, now we'll go back to connect. We'll select Bastion again. This time, uh, it's just gonna it's gonna look a little bit different. We'll select use Bastion. And it should prompt us to enter a username and password, um, and then it will open up in a new window. So um, everything, the provisioning state succeeded. That means the VNet uh, and the resource group and the managed uh, Bastion service all um, were deployed successfully. So we'll go ahead and select connect. It will open up this new uh, window where it starts connecting to the server and uh, start logging in automatically. Again, uh, this is another good reason why you would not uh, do it through a jump box. Uh, this is more secure. It's uh, a managed service. So that means there's no servers to manage. The less you manage, I would say, the better as a system administrator or as an, a cloud architect. Um, we'll select yes. And then you'll have the server manager that will load its initial services, just like in a real server. Um, we'll go ahead and run the command just to verify it's the uh, Azure demo VM. Um, as you can see, it's the demo VM that we created. Again, um, anytime you want to come back and connect, you just go there. Uh, you can select here and just select Bastion, just use Bastion and then it'll have you log in, hit connect and then it'll open up a new tab. Um, again, this is a much easier way, a uh, faster way, a more secure way uh, to deploy and manage uh, servers on Azure. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.